in his old Alabama. Don Williams, Brian Brooks, kicking off the 7 o'clock hour. Tuesday, Ladue's Day, we'll have some Chris Ledoux coming up. Also music from Joe Nichols, Tracy Lawrence, Tim McGraw. Your trucking song of the day is right around the corner. We are rejoined from the Innovation Campus Studios by Bryce. And Alex has meandered in this morning. Alex, how was your weekend? It was just fine. Good morning. Tell me more about uh, this this test hairdo stuff. You you had to go huh? get a test hairdo for your upcoming nuptials. Who calls it a hairdo? It is a hairdo. It was just a trial run. Uh, but uh, so explain this to me. This is something that guys don't do. You you correct. You have to go through and do your whole uh, hairstyle for your wedding before your wedding. To make sure it works. though, Gene, you haven't had hair in several years. I did have hair at one time. I, I just said in several years you haven't. Yes. Well, you're unfamiliar with these kinds of things. So it's true. Okay. So uh, did everything work out? Are you ready? Everything was fine. I don't really know what else there is to add to that. You go in, they do a little trial run to make sure you don't hate it, and you still pay the full price, and that's it. Oh, you have oh, to pay yeah. for this. Oh, yeah. Well, that yeah. sounds like a racket to me. But they won't do... Most places will not do the bride's hair until they do a trial because they don't want people to hate them. But don't you like have a, a, a like a veil on and something covering your hair so it doesn't really matter? Have you seen my hair? The only thing that could cover it is a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do make white trash bags. In case. <laughs> uh, Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Me? Yeah. Oh. No, not really. Nothing you're willing to talk about anyway. So no, I was I was hanging out with the parents. Okay, all right. Uh, how would you like it if uh, you were at work, and uh, while you're working, your car got towed? We've never uh, been towed from here, but we have been fined. You've been I've fined. I've received many parking tickets. Really? What do you do with those parking tickets? Tear them up and go. Don't you know who I am? Well, if it's uh, at the university, it shows up on your uh, student balances so there's You're not no a throwing away anymore, and ignoring though. you're not allowed to graduate from UNL until nope. you pay your balance my uh, found story. that out the hard way that this is not a new thing many 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 years ago uh when i was in college i borrowed my sister's car once and i got a parking ticket with her car and totally forgot about it blew it off and then she went to graduate like two years later and they wouldn't let her graduate because she had an outstanding parking ticket. oh no it was only just $10. one though i mean that's not bad yeah it was it was yeah, ten dollars like, i had a lot bryce had a collection my dad collected them on his bulletin board it was oh. nice because they got shipped back to where the vehicle was tied. Oh. i didn't know that <laughs> and when i graduated he brought them all up <laughs> Well, I bring this up because over the weekend, do you know who, and I'm going to say his last name wrong, even though I've heard it a thousand times, do you know who Quinn Ewers is? Oh, yeah, quarterback for Texas. He is the quarterback for Texas. And while he was, <laughs> well, I, I, knew, I know you know that, Bryce. So uh, <laughs> while he was quarterbacking for Texas, which is kind of his job, along with being a college student, uh, his his car got towed away. <laughs> How did his car get towed? Plus he parked illegally. He must have been. Uh, and then I, I don't have any sympathy. Don't or else, they have or else it was uh, maybe the tow truck was owned by a Texas A and M fan. I don't know. It could but, have been. Uh, somehow uh, his car got towed away while he was quarterbacking the game. And I'm sorry, I just had to chuckle about this a little bit. Uh, somebody said that takes hook'em horns to a different level. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. Boom. That's all I got this morning. You've been I'm towed going before, home. Gene? What's that? Have you been towed? I have not been wow. towed. Um, you. There's been one time that I went out with friends, and uh, I rode along, and uh, my friend's car got towed. Mm. But uh, I was not driving. And that, oh, goodness, it was seriously, I want to say it was like $300 to get his truck back. It was oh, yeah, more than that. I think it's yeah. like 400 500 bucks now. Oh, Because you have to pay... All of your ticket balance. Yep. I, not like I'm speaking from experience here. You have to pay your <laughs> ticket balance plus the tow fee. Yeah. And the only way they tow you is if you get five tickets. Oh, And it's 25 bucks a piece. Mm-hmm. Plus your late fees Ooh. ends up being about 500 bucks. Yeah, see, in this not case, pretty. um, he had parked in a no parking zone, yeah. and we didn't what realize What an idiot. It. What did he expect? Well, oh, no, we didn't buying... realize it. It was not very well marked at all. Oh. oh, I thought you meant the Texas guy. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's what I thought. Anyway, I want to address kind of two things. Gene, you were on your motorcycle. That's what made me think about this, plus mm-hmm. parking. There is a, I think it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. When people ride motorcycles, particularly around the university, mm-hmm. they're allowed to park 
in designated motorcycle parking. And I don't believe you have to have a permit. I could be speaking wrong there, but you get to park where every, you're nice up and close, and everybody else is stuck parking a mile away and walking to well, class. Get a motorcycle. I had a friend who bought a moped. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Just for this reason, because you can go park right up nice and close and don't even have to have a parking pass. I wonder What's up with that. Can you park like a, one of those electric bicycles there? They're becoming very popular. I tried to ride my bike around campus and it got stolen. <laughs> Ooh, that's you rough. Be kidding me. Yep. True story. You had, had my bike it rough. Going. Lincoln's becoming a rough town these days. So. <laughs> it is. All right. Well, that's a. I guess watch where you park, kids. Especially uh, my, if you're quarterbacking for Texas. What, Alex? Just like if you're going to yeah. drive a big pickup or a suburban or something, just you, please park in the lines. Me? No. Oh. Just park in the lines, okay? I can see like my there's, pickup there's in here. There's already limited right. parking. Did but I park the, like a jerk today? No, I'm not saying it at you're, you. You're I'm just, just somebody with this no, I'm right just now. saying in general, the people who don't know how to park are taking up two parking spots, and the people who park in trailer parking with no trailer are the real people who tick me off. Where is there trailer parking? With- <laughs> I was at the lake this weekend, and there's people parking <laughs> like little cars and pickups in the trailer parking. Mm. You know how anyway. you take care of people that uh, park too close to the lines like that? Tell them. Good old door ding. <laughs> Good old door ding. They won't do it What does do that do to your car? Ah, drive junk like I do, and you don't have to worry about it. So. Oh, my God.